everybody, how's it going? Well, uh, we just ran down and got the soft plug kit. Nah, I was afraid of that. I, I like how these uh, parts houses, they go by their books, yes. But when the book's wrong, they, defi they, they say, no, that's what it calls for. <laughs> and I'm like, I know that's not right. Because these uh, 96 up, 99 motors got different size of oil galley plugs and so yeah I still got the kit because I need the soft plugs the soft plugs are still the same but uh, the galley plugs are different and so when I picked up the intake the guy that I got the they had the fix the intake on and uh, he dug through his collection and I think we found the ones I'm missing just because somebody entered it in some book saying that they all, because they're trying to say all the, what was it from, 86 to 99 were the same for galley plugs. No, they're not. So. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully now I got the intake, got everything, get this motor finished, and, uh, Get her done and get her running. Let's see what we do from there. But it's a cold one today. It's bouncing between the three and five degrees. It's, I'm ready for the warm weather to get here. So, then I woke up to, well, I was up. Just heard some noise and the neighbors uh, at the apartment building uh, getting their sewer line dug up. I'm like, oh, wonderful. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, I got to get the, uh, get the, going here. So, all right, too many things on my mind here. I'll be back. 14 millimeter. It's two big ones. One small one and the small one, no, I laid it down as, the hell is it? Oh, we well, got the small one, right? That's how I drop it. But anyway, I think that's the one. Uh, yeah, so that's what it was. I'll show it Yeah, the small one here. Whatever the heck that is. Can't read it. So 14s and that. So now I gotta take the rear main off and double check that one. See if it's a big one like that. I think it is. And that. So anyway, I gotta pick up one more 14 millimeter somewhere. Haha. Uh -huh. get that and that'll be good to go and then I can put that all on and get the cam and that in but I gotta check that one under the rear main cap that I got that I tell everybody don't forget something I haven't forgot it see all right and again you can see light right down through you're not supposed to be able to do that there's supposed to be a plug in there and it's got to be put in precisely because oil goes on both sides of that plug right there so that and the sizes I've got, even the ones the guy gave me now, are not right. Uh, yeah, I need one more 14 millimeter for the front. And at least if I get those, God, yeah, dang it! I mean, once that's on, the time chain gear can go on. And then the front cover, and then it's on the oil pan and that. Oh, I can't, I don't understand what has changed with these parts houses that they can't get this right to understand that those soft plug kits do not work. They're not, especially on a Vortec motor. So once I get those plugs in and then it's torque the mains, torque the rods, install the oil pump and screen, 
time to change gear cover and we can button this thing up. So I'm going to roll that up right and see if the plugs I've got for the deck is right. If that's right, then I at least can uh, stall ahead here quick because i got some time to kill. Get this other head on and just... And then these parts houses look at you like you're half stupid because, uh, this is what our book says. I don't care what your book says. I know firsthand what you're selling me is not right. So, all right. Well, that's interesting. 16 minutes with the dealer, the parts place that said they had this. And he couldn't find it. And he was having a hard time understanding, but you can see that's huge, that's huge, that's small. And like I said, that, that these are 14 millimeter right there and there. And that, if I don't lose the one I got, and then the one in the back. But uh, the only thing that's the same is the three black ones, the one above the oil filter, and your two drains in the side of the block. No oh, oil filter right there. So those, those are still quarter inch plug. So I guess for now I'm going to pull that one back out so I can put some Loctite on him. Get some Loctite on that. We'll install that one then we can throw this head gasket and head on this side for right now. And uh, yeah, he's like, boy, so I'm surprised. he's like, I'm surprised nobody else has run across that. And I says, well, he goes, evidently people ain't knocking them out anymore. And I said, that's a big mistake to do. And leave those in there because I says, this, well, if you guys go back in the video, you'll see why I said uh, so important to do. So, anyway, all right. Let's see. 12, 15, yeah, I got time to kill. Got enough time to get the head to at least set it on and held on with one bolt for now and then come back, but all right. All right, got one left. All right, I did the three here that are screwing with this uh, quarter inch plug. So we got this one here above the oil filter right there to do. So we'll do that one. Then we need two more of these for the lower water jacket so just using the red loctite breaking them down <clears throat> so okay that one's in, that one's in, those three are in, and I'm going to have to stop at the dealership about getting my other four plugs. Oh, actually, I actually need six plugs yet. Uh, yeah, that kind of surprises me that we got the parts house. I mean, this is a big parts house I called, and usually they have everything. And he's like, huh. He says, that's kind of funny that nobody's caught that yet so I said yeah go to these other places and they look at me like you're uh, stoned or something I'm like I know when I see people so yeah on the old blocks where I'm having troubles with that on the old 350s what I would have done was uh, just uh, tapped out those three front holes for the screwing plugs is what I would have normally done but uh, since this is a late model motor I can't do it well I probably could find a pipe plug but you want to do any of that tapping or anything before you get to this stage because otherwise then you put finally into your oil oiling system and yeah we so know that's not good so hey we're at top dead center number one that plugs in that one's in And, uh, yeah, we should be able to set this head on now. I'm going crazy sitting at home. 
That takes care of sick kids too. Make sure no paint leached onto this side. That one stayed good. So, all right. Go ahead and torque this and do the torque deal, but oh and I got complimented on my repair. Here I'll show you. He says that's the best you could have got it. Uh well you can see where I ground out and rebuilt that. I said, oh shoot, I did have a couple of little pits. He says, Yeah, you're not never gonna get away from the pits, but there's that side I welded. You can see the discoloration where I had to weld it. He was really happy with the job I'd done, so. But, yep. So I'll blow that off and we'll just set it on there to help keep the dirt out of the motor. So, alright. I tell ya, I just wanted to put that motor together. And, you know, I showed the importance about taking those plugs out and cleaning them. I sure the hell didn't think I'd have this much trouble replacing those plugs. Now look at that old John Deere just sitting there rotting away. Poor old thing. But yeah, uh, I've been the one GM dealer. They just couldn't figure out what I was talking about. Parts houses and everybody keeps trying to sell me the old school stuff. I said no, the Vortex stuff is different. And I had the one 14 millimeter plug and I said, well, it comes with a 12 millimeter. Uh, uh, I said, well, the 12 millimeter or half inch. So I got one more dealer friend I want to try. Somebody somewhere entered the wrong. Oh, it's a 350. They didn't change much. Yeah. Anyway, I guess. Uh, which pretty much just. It's already two o'clock. Ay 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 ay. Anyway, I guess. Let's see what this next dealer has to say. <laughs> Holy crap! It must be gold in them things. And my dealership here in town, he found them. Two of them were $8.96 a piece, and the other one you had to buy a box of 20 of them to get them in, and they were $2 a piece. I said, I only need uh, two and two. So yeah, uh, I am like really. I can't believe the trouble I'm having, and this has just stopped me. I mean, like he said, uh, well, just tap them out and put the screw and plugs in. And I said I would if I wouldn't have a long block, and I'm not going to tear that motor down because they got to be out there somewhere. So I guess go to the house and do some searching but uh yeah so strike two or three or whatever i'm trying to get this motor finished again um really really uh yeah somebody just pulled out in front of me stopped for the other vehicle but pulled right out in front of me Yeah, it looks like they got the sewer fixed for the neighbors. It's, uh, it looks like they put a new clean out in too. That ought to be interesting for the city. They'll knock that son of a bitch off with their snowplow because they like coming up over their curb. I tell you. 
Anyway, I guess I got two bottles of insulin. Give me a couple more today's, and I guess I'm gonna go in and see if I can find something online. And I'm glad this wasn't a rush job because I'd be going frantic right now. So, well, guys, maybe tomorrow or so, or I don't know when now to finish that motor because uh, until that's in. Until at least I get the three for the front, I can't even put the cam and lifters and all that stuff in it. Because I gotta be able to get in there to. Alright, I'm gonna stop thinking out loud. See y'all later. God bless you. Take care.